I'll just, I'll just walk, easier. So, you thought there might be a C100 Mark III. You're wrong, because the C200 is here. Oh yes, and it's looking pretty tasty. So the interesting thing with the C200 is that it doesn't actually replace the C100 Mark II. It slots in nicely between that and the C300 Mark II. Key thing is, it shoots 4K. Mwah, mwah. Okay, just before we start, we were invited by Canon to test this pre-production model and we only got very short time with it. Therefore, this is just a first look rather than a full-on review. Hopefully, we'll make a full review in the future. Maybe. Let's test up a startup time. The camera's off. Switch it on. You're timing it. But I'm, ca I'm, I'm counting potatoes. How many potatoes is that? How many french fries can you have with that? But I think that's pretty good compared to C300 Mark II, isn't it? Yes. Short start time is good, but not terribly interesting. However, can you spot something that does look interesting? That is wobbly. <laughs> it goes in the front, I think. It's easier. You have it in the front. You've got the ridges. This sounds so wrong. I think you've spotted it. This is new. It's a touch screen. Oh my God. Oh. Which means you can touch it. I mean, the good thing is that you can use touch AF to select your focus points. Oh, that's brilliant. Touch AF on the Canon C series. Forget about manual focusing. The AF on the C200 with this is amazing. So as you can see, wire get out of the way as you can see i've got the 50 millimeter f 1.2 on Boker! super bright but it's okay because i've got nd filters on here just like the c300 mark ii six stops of nd and up to 10 stops of extended nd overexposure should disappear from your dictionary but yes shoots 4k but not only that it shoots 4k in 50p but what does it look like Let's go shoot some bokeh. So you can click on the flower there. Touch on the lady. I mean, touch on the screen. Don't touch the lady. Might get arrested. Touch the lady and then touch the bush. Canon's dual pixel AF is known for accuracy and neutral transition between subject. C200 has nailed it. That screen's not too good in the bright sunlight. The screen's pretty dark. Yeah. You can't see anything. Hmm, the monitor seems to be a bit dark and a bit of a fingerprint magnet. I guess a sunhood or EVF is essential if you're shooting outdoors. Yes, but still, I like that I've added the touchscreen. It's kind of the logical next step. And it's got something that the C300 Mark II hasn't got, because you can't, well, who knows, you can't use it with the C300 II for now, which makes the C200 seem quite a good option. And especially this comes in at a low price point. Price is here. Price is around £6,000 plus VAT. Quite a lot of money, but cheaper than the C300 Mark II. If you look on the back, you've got slots everywhere. You've got a CFast slot there. And two SD card slots. Boom. Why is that? Well, is, the SD is good for internal recording. Internal is 8-bit. External, you can shoot 10-bit, but the, you can shoot Cine Raw. And that's what the CFast is for. And you do need to see fast because it's one gigabit of data per second. And luckily, we don't have a spare CFast 2 card, so couldn't record RAW. The H.264 encoded C-Log 3 footage still looks gorgeous, though. Canon has promised in the future that Interframe Codec SFAVC will be added onto the C200. In terms of the body, it, it, it's a bit smaller than the C300 Mark II. Unlike the C100 Mark II, the screen is separate. You don't have the tilty, flippy screen on the side. So you've got the XLR inputs on the body itself. 
whereas the C100, C300, not on the body. But now the battery is exactly the same as the C300 Mark II's battery. So you can kind of swap them interchangeable. There's one thing that the C200 has that the C300 II doesn't. Built-in Wi-Fi capabilities. You can control the camera via your mobile device, even the focus. Ooh, I like this actually. Yeah, that's, good. Good. that's good because before you had to unscrew the whole thing itself before you can adjust the angle of the grip. But you just flick that wheel and bam. This is what the sporty people can and do. Right. So this can actually shoot HD. 120p have that in your pipe and smoke it 120 fps with no center crop wide angle slow mo is a narrow possibility you do see a slight drop off in sharpness compared to the 4k but a super slow motion from the c200 is still really usable menu systems look just like the dslr menus which is perfect easy to use when you're using c302 and you're just using the nipple to change the autofocus points. It's just not as fluid, as slick as using the touchscreen. Dynamic range-wise, C200 uses the same sensors as C302 and as C-Log3 and C-Log. C-Log3 gives you around 13 stops of dynamic range. If you want to release the full 15 stops of dynamic range, you need to record RAW. But look, this is Cinema RAW Lite, which means it's lighter. less heavy no it means that it's going to be compressed as opposed to uncompressed you can record 10-bit raw in 4k 60 fps and 12-bit raw in 4k 30 fps great but still generates huge amounts of data so yeah as i was saying it records 8-bit internally 420 if you want the 10-bit you can get 10-bit but that's externally 422 well, I would say the C200 is more designed for internal recording. It has almost everything you need in a relatively compact package. And that's that's kind of the confusing thing. I mean, how is Canon going to deal with that? The fact that this can shoot 4K, 50p, and C300 II can't. C300 Mark III?